It's cool, Chris. Don't worry. Oh, God, he's got my fucking name. No! Don't worship the devil? Yeah, I'm not on not Saturdays. I mean, Tuesdays, maybe a little satanic. Oh, and Thursday afternoon, of course. Yeah, right, Chris. Then why didn't you say anything at church? Your dad totally humiliated my mom. Ooh. 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 Did we let the simp be a simp, or do we, like, tell him to... To, don't start shit. Okay, fine. I want to. Okay, if we're not gonna start shit, I want to be at least a little snarky with this one. Come on. I mean, who has Saturday church? Is what I want to know. Okay, Google. What religion has church on Saturday nights? Okay, Google. Are Seventh Day Adventists Mormon? No, that's too, no, that's not. Here is some information for the They're Jehovah's Witnesses! According to Wikipedia, the Seventh Day Adventist Church is an Adventist Protestant Christian no, it's not, wait. <laughs> which is distinguished by its observance of Saturday, the seventh day of the week in Christian, Gregorian, and the Hebrew Catholic. Ah, uh, they're just they just worship on Saturdays. Okay, so anyway, they're Seventh Day Adventists. I'm non denominational, if you must know. Seriously? I know that was very rare for... There, I know there's Wednesday and there's Sunday at the church down the street from me. Um, oh, yeah, Mass. But I don't, since he wasn't a priest, he was a pastor, that's not Catholic, though. I can tell you that right now. I, do, I was non-denominational, so that means I know shit all about Christianity. <laughs> I mean... We just observed the major holidays, and uh, that was pretty much it. There's no Lent. There is no, you know, they didn't have mass. They're just basically Jesus, it's the number one guy. Have a little grape juice and a cracker on Sundays, and um, Christmas. Yeah, like it's a special thing. They'll be doing that. So I'm doing. I'm doing. Anyway, we're doing two. You're hilarious. Uh, seriously, would you please let me make it up to you? Um, maybe tomorrow I could buy you lunch. How about the Deschutes Brewery? You can't go there, Chris. We're minors. Ah, once again, my maturity and sophistication have confused matters. You see, sir, I'm actually only 17. Har har, I get it. First your dad humiliates my mom, and then you stand me up at a bar. Get stuffed, Chris. Oh. So world religions? <laughs> Better study hard. Oh God! Gets the get stopped answer. We don't want to. We don't want to simp. No. Okay. All right. Look, I'm I'm really really sorry that my dad is such a freak. I feel really bad about it. I just want to make it up to you. I'll just think about it. Okay. I'll be outside the school tomorrow at noon. I hope you'll show up. Okay. I'll try to make it. I need to go find someone. See you later. All right. But if I come, you're buying. None of that going Dutch crap. I've got to run later. Well, don't hold your breath, Chris. I've got to go. Bye. Whew. Oh, we're oh Dora, Dora's got a thing for Chris Cook. Wow, the town of Satanist has made it to the party. Strange, as it's a boring one. Nicole Thompson, the other Satanist. Very funny. Have you seen Kelly? Um, uh, boring up until now. Just waiting to see the demon conjuring I planned. Do I know you? Ooh, destroy him. <laughs> he He's not, but he's also creepy as fuck. He's, yeah. Okay, Roxy, interesting. Uh, do I know you? <sighs> I like the second option, though. Nice, I'd like that. Anything to save me from having to talk like about like fashion or like church, like oh my god, like gag me with a spoon. He's very much a simp for her. Oh my god. 
Sadly, I have to show you later. Do you know where Kelly is? Like, oh my god, I know. Like, can you believe what Jesus is wearing? It's so AD32. Seriously, though, have you seen Kelly? It's good. Show her the grody old boyfriend to go get some smokes. She should be back in a minute. Want to sit, want to sit and drown your sorrows? Yeah, <laughs> he has to destroy him. Thank you. Isn't that coffee you're drinking? Are you saying there's something weird about a 30-something going out with a 16-year-old? So, oh my, what? God. I knew kids like that. Sure, but I don't like alcohol. That, you know, I'm gonna answer this one truthfully. These are all out there, but yes. Tipper. Oh, God. I, I've seen it happen. Like a 27-year-old going out with like a 14-year-old because they're fucking skeezy as fuck. This dark, syrupy potion may look similar to what people around here call coffee. But it's actually a secret concoction that I've dubbed good coffee. It's completely different. Have a sip. Wow, that actually is really good. How'd you make that? Oh my god, that's delicious. Are you sure it's legal for us to have that? I mean, we're still minors, right? No thanks. I already feel too anxious as it is. I say we start Jennifer on the road to a coffee addiction. I myself don't drink coffee, but you know, everyone's gonna have a few vices. And I say this is her vice. As long as it's not dating 30-somethings. I'll never tell. But hang with me, kid, and you might just find out. Hey, there's Kelly's cousin, Julie. Looks like they're back from M&W. Thanks, I'll go talk to her. Hey, it was nice talking to you. Alas, I must leave your company and return to the land of redneck teen angst. Let's catch you later. God, I hope I don't have to talk to Wayne. Hey, thanks for the chat. See you around. I'm guessing Wayne is the 30-something. Same here. That's that's my drink of choice is uh, soda. Uh, I'm gonna go with three, two. We're in a teen angst. <laughs> I'm gonna go with two. Hi Jennifer. I think Kelly wants to talk to you. Grateful Dead. Okay. And it's faded. Uh, yeah. Hey, hi Julie. Do you know where she is? Hi. Yes. I've been playing. I've been playing. Where's Kelly all night? Have you seen her? Thanks. I thought she was with you. I don't think they're gonna matter any much. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Hey, what do you think about Nikki? I like her. She's pretty different from most Bendettes. Bendites. Pretty chill for a goth. We bonded over Mortuary Science and Anne Rice. She seems cool. What do you think? Pretty chill for a goth. Oh, my God. That was... I mean, I guess it's kind of goth. I think it's more punk than goth. Because she was wearing a leather jacket. And just... It looked far more punk than goth, honestly. That wasn't goth. Mm. Uh, she seems cool. Yeah, she's a trip. It's like, she reminds me of the world is much bigger than here. I want to see it some, someday. Like, gag me with a spoon. Me too. Hey, I'm sorry, but Kelly said she needed to talk with me. I don't know, Julie. If you get a little taste of the bigger world, then what? You might want something really crazy, like to be president. Maybe it's all the same, you know? I mean, Bend, Portland, Paris. Everywhere probably sucks. Oh, we're going to be a nihilist. Nihilist. Nihilist? Nihilist or nihilist? Someone tell me right now. Maybe all the cities suck, but I mean, all the magical little spots hidden throughout the world. And all the people, all the cultures, the music, the foods, burritos and egg rolls and spaghetti and... Someone tell me how to say the word! Do you think she'll be where Kelly is now? Do you like super stone or something? I wish I were right. I never know. Now, hey, Kelly was saying... Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How do you pronounce nihilist? That's pronounced nihilist. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Google. Thank you. I love you. I'm honored to serve. Kiss me. This is one of those things we both have to agree on. I'd prefer to keep our relationship friendly. Romance makes me incredibly awkward. Okay, Google. But what if I make you unawkward? Here's what I found. How to unlock a Word document for editing! <laughs> She 
interpret it as how do I unlock my Microsoft Word? <laughs> Stop being creepy. <laughs> okay, Google. Do I have your consent to kiss you? I can search the web for that. Just tap that search to below. Wow. No, you don't. <laughs> Uh, hey, Kelly was saying... Oh, right, I admit, I'm a little baked. But anyways, Kelly's over there. Over here. Jennifer, you made it! Tell her... <laughs> I can't... Why did he fade? God damn! <laughs> Tell her, Wayne. This was so worth the 59 cents I spent on it. Jesus Christ. That's unfortunate right there. <sighs> you tell her, Kelly. I'm gonna make a phone call. God damn. Right now? Who are you calling? Jesus, Kelly. Don't be so clingy. I need to call my connect. Something's off with this stuff. I'm not clingy. You cheated on me. You're a philanthropist. Hmm, I think you mean philanderer. You're so dumb, Kelly. I didn't cheat on you. I was getting a massage. Oh my god. He is just like the kind of guys that date 16 year olds when they're in their 30s. Holy fuck. Yeah, right, Wayne. I'm not stupid. Can't even read, bitch. It is, BG. This is the version with puzzles. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word because of a personal choice. You mean... R. Kelly's so dumb that... Kelly's not dumb. She knows more about animals than anyone. I... Whatever. I'm gonna go make that call. He seems about right. He just dies. 1989, everyone! 1988, everyone! Whatever yourself. Oh, Kelly, you need to get away from that guy. Geez, so doing coke really makes pe really does make people assholes. Wayne's a dickwad, Kelly. Why are you still with him? Okay, which one do we pick? I, I feel we need to save Kelly. That's my goal now, is to save Kelly from that man. Because that's just gross. He is a dickwad, but what if she, like, she's gonna, she's gonna, well, he's not always that like this. He's not all bad. Or he's got a really big wallet. <laughs> Wayne's not a bad guy. What? They're all gonna say that. Watch, watch. You really need to get away from that guy. Wayne's not a bad guy. Yeah, I'm. They're all the same. It's all the same. Like, what? What is actually happening? I'm. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that our choices, since they're colored, mean something. You know, other than the tone of the choice. He's not a bad guy. He's just not been feeling real good. Kelly, Wayne's mean to you, and he's like way too old to be with you. For drugs, whatever, Julie. You're just jealous because I have somebody that loves me, and you don't got nobody. And this, this is, this is it. This, this, oh, this is, I, I feel like I could pull a Bose right now. If you don't know who Bose is, she's this wonderful streamer that talks about court cases and the way people act on camera and the trauma that people deal with and unpacking drama, things like that. I su highly suggest you look her up. Great. Great. Very entertaining to watch too. But I feel like I could pull a Bose right now because this is so textbook, it's not even funny. funny I'm happy you're probably not wrong 
Oh, she on vacay right now? That could be why I haven't seen any videos from her lately. I have to say, of, of anyone who does that kind of content, she is literally my favorite. I absolutely love how she just deconstructs things and just talks about things so frankly and so... I don't know, it's, it's crisp. It's refreshing. Like a McDonald's Sprite. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, I mean, maybe it's because I'm married, but I haven't really felt it that often or seen it that much. But I mean, it is, it is a thing, you know, like, oh, you got to have some, you're, if you don't have somebody, you're nobody, you know, I hate that too. It's not, it's not a cool thing. Is that true? I have Frito and he loves me more than anything. Con and now Frito's a dog. Oh, bearded dragons don't count. You're so immature. Kelly, what did you need to tell me about Ryan? I think Lizard Love is probably underrated. Iguana learn more about it. Iguana learn more about it. But for now, do you have any news about Ryan? Hate to break it to you, Kelly, but Wayne is actually a bad guy. You know, it's better to be alone than to be with someone like that. Do we do we press or do we ask about Ryan? Because that's the whole reason we're here. Yeah, I mean, you get to a point where it's like, you know, it's gonna happen one way or another. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, whatever. And you can actively look for it in a good way. But, like, I I, I I, do think it is bad that people, like, try and force people into relationships or force them to have kids once they're in a relationship. It's just whatever. Yeah, six. Well, there you go. You know, sometimes live your truth, everyone. Live your fucking truth. I just don't even care anymore. I don't care if I have someone, mm, Mr. Beauregard. Now go back to massaging my glutes. Anyway, <laughs> um, which one do we pick? Because <laughs> the music stops, so that means it's going to be gone forever now. Until the next major scene. Okay, let's get right to the point. What about Ryan? Okay, so it's actually a really big deal. Wayne heard from this dude there's like a huge drug bust coming. It's gonna be some giant pot farm out in the boonies that's run by two hippies that sell pottery. Sound familiar? Oh my god, you think it's Ryan's parents? But Ryan is stone cold sober. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Are you sure they were talking about his family? How trustworthy were these this tip from Wayne? Who did he hear it from? I'm tired of dealing with everything that isn't plot. <laughs> So, I, I mean, how, I, I, I want to know, how trustworthy? Don't tell Wayne I told you, but he heard it from his dealer. I guess he knows someone at the police department who tipped him off. Wayne doesn't even smoke pop. Why would his dealer know about this? I don't know. There's something big happening, something, I don't know what it is. But the dealer was, like, stoked because I guess weed's going to be a lot harder to find. So more people will be buying the bad stuff. Yeah, I guess. Hey, did you tell her? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, she knows. She just needs to warn Ryan. Great. Look, Kelly, I'm sorry I blew up on you. I just... I'm feeling really not right. Hey, I want you to know. I love you, little honey. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Isn't he sweet? You two ready to go to Crane Prairie? This party blows. Crane Prairie. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, I have an idea. Why don't you come with us and we'll swing by Ryan's before we go to the reservoir? Cloud! I don't know. It's pretty out of the way. Come on, Wayne, please. Fine, but I want to leave now. We gotta get to Wagner's early tomorrow. I've gotta go to Wagner's early tomorrow. Yo, you all need to leave, like, now. Why, what's up? A neighbor must have called the cops. They're at the front door right now. Shit, where do we go? Go out the side. Just be quiet. Hurry. Are you coming with us, Jen? We can take you to Ryan's. Sorry, but I need to go back home. Thanks, anyways. I'll try to get Ryan's in the morning, but hopefully it won't be too late. Fuck it, might as well. My mom's already going to disown me. Or this is why I need my own car. Yeah, I'll go with you. Which do we pick? Which is our choice? I should save my game so we can come back. I'll save complete. Do, 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 do. I'm, I feel like even if we pick this one, we're still going to get forced into going to Ryan's. So, I'm going to pick it just... I just want to see what happens. Oh, we do get to... Why is it black? 
So, something happened and the cops caught us. But it goes black, so we have no idea what happened. Alright, we're going. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Let's go. So it means my mom's already gonna disown me. Let's do it. It like shows a few seconds of video and then nothing because I don't know what's happening. Hey, did you see Haley's comment? Me a few years ago? No, I heard about it, but I never saw it. Did you? No, but I saw Haley's spitball. Far less impressive, but much easier to locate. How about you? I don't think we looked for it. I thought it was really hard to see. I'm just gonna go with that. My dad took us to an observatory in Pine Mountain that U of O operates. It was so amazing. It blew my mind they were looking at the same comet that people had been seeing for hundreds and thousands of years. I mean, like, the universe is, like, so big. It's just, like, we can't even really fit in this bigness in our minds, you know? That's really cool, Julie. I didn't know you were interested in comets and stuff. Wow, it's weird that a comet is even older than Ronald Reagan. Cool that you saw it, though. How did you get to see it? I didn't even know there was an observatory near here. I see we go with this one. My dad works at the observatory as an astronomer. Astron astronomer. He wants to make an even better one here that's open to everyone. He says that the more people learn about space, the more they realize they don't know. He does an astron astronomer? I didn't know that. That's pretty rad, Julie. <coughs> pretty fucking rad. Wow, I thought they didn't allow anyone with a college degree inside the city inside the city limits. That's really nice of him, but no one around here is going to pay for that. It'd just be more welfare, co welfare communism to them. Ooh. I'm gonna be nice. Hey, you want to hear something really wild? Oh, is that nasty of the aliens? I'm scared to say yes, but yes. Totally. What is it? Are oh, you gonna love this? Oh sure. There's this English astronomer named Fred Hoyle who has this totally crazy theory. He says that comets are chock full of extraterrestrial life. When they fly past us, their dust sees our planet with new life, and that's how life on Earth first started. He thinks the whole universe is filled with living creatures that are related, spread by these free love comets sailing through its galaxies. So, like, aliens are like our sisters and brothers. Isn't that a trip? Julie's high as fuck. I don't know they, I don't know what to make of that. I thought we all came from, like, primordial soup or something. Impossible. Pastor Cook says God accidentally made us when he was bored one day. And then why wouldn't they come for us? Like, help us out. I mean, wouldn't they care? Maybe they're just as fucked up as we are. I'll be nice. Yeah, you notice how, like, their explanations always make humans sound kind of stupid and worthless? Like, we can either have, like, no soul and higher purpose, or we exist just to kiss God's butt. Like, I don't like, I don't think either of those views make, would make sense for our ET sisters, right? Well, that's weird to think about. I mean, like, what would that, what makes sense to them? If only we can make the Greyhound down to Area 51, we could find out. Naruto run. I don't know, sometimes I feel pretty stupid. How do you even know if I have a soul? Uh, let's go with this one. Okay, get this. I a total nature lover, and she's really good friends with this dude named Terrence McKenna. He says that people have potential to talk across dimensions and realities, all existences. And some of those aliens across the universe are just waiting to connect with us. All we have to do is get our minds to the right on the right frequency. That's what all these are for. Have you ever taken shrooms before? Oh, no. I've never done anything that I s other than smoked weed. I don't like, you know, hard stuff. What are those? They look like dark, dried out penises. <laughs> I don't know, you're kind of stretching me out right now. Sketching me out. We're going, we, we have to. We literally have to. Don't worry, they're totally natural. My mom and I picked them. They're called Organ Blues, and they're really powerful teachers. I was going to take some at the reservoir, but I feel like there's something that's been drawing me to you all night long. I think I'm supposed to eat these with you. What do you think? Want to talk to aliens? Want to talk to aliens? I... That's really nice of you, Julie, but I'm not up for anything that crazy tonight. No thanks, I already talked to my E.T. doll each night. Speaking of which, I should probably phone home soon. My mom is probably worried about me. Or, you really think all that stuff is possible? Like, talking across dimensions? Yeah, no. We're, we're just gonna kibosh that. Mm. Mm. No. 
Okay, cool, totally. Yeah, it's probably not the right night for it anyway. Oh, it looks like we're pulling over. Something's off. We don't need your stupid truck anyway. What's going on, Kelly? Wayne's a fucking liar, that's what. I lied because you're so immature. I knew you'd freak out like this. You're a fucking cheat and a pervert. I'm not pervert. You're just jealous because she's cuter than you. She's your niece. You're so gross, Wayne. What? Fuck you, you fucking trailer trash bitch. Enjoy your walk home, slut. Fuck you, I hope you fucking get AIDS and die. Holy shit, Kelly, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. He's such a fucking asshole. Fuck. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? Yes, goddammit. Where the fuck even are we? I want to talk about it. I don't know, but it's freezing out here. How are we going to get back to town? I don't know, hitchhike? Hey, there's someone in that car. I know her. That's the preacher lady. Who? You know, Pastor Cook's wife? Let's ask her for a ride. Dude, we'll fucking free you. We can get out here. Come on. I'm actually feeling kind of scared, Jen. Can we please just see if she's nice? Um, sorry to bother you, Mrs. Cook, but my boyfriend just left us stranded and... Mrs. Cook? Oh, you're a riot. You know that? Sorry, i just wondering if... Hey, I know you. Come here. Yeah, you're Jennifer Kraft, aren't you? Yes, I am. Jennifer who? I'm actually just arrived. I'm actually just arrived from really far, like another galaxy far away. Uh, why? Planning to run me over? I think the puzzles are when we take control of Jennifer and have her move around and cook a burrito. I think that was the puzzle, but I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. One? Yes, I am. Bitch. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so... So, oh my god. Aren't you girls freezing? Do you need a ride somewhere? Yes, please. Can you take us back to town, please? Of course, get in. Oh my god, why didn't you say so? Well, come on, you too, Jennifer. Please, let me make it up to you. Thanks, I'm so cold. I don't know, Mrs. Cook. Stranger danger, you know? Okay, fine. Don't just try anything. You smell like... Are you drunk? Oh, no. Stranger danger and... Drunk drivers. I think we're still going to get the cop ending. How much you want to bet? Okay, still getting taken home by the cops. Just a little bit more long-winded. No, thanks, I'm so cold. All right, Kelly's dropped off, and now we're almost your house, Julie. This isn't so bad, right? She looks so old. Thanks, Mrs. Cook. My house is the one at the end of the street. Gloria, remember? Mrs. Cook is my mom. Ah, that's the same voice you're using for the mother. I need to do something different. Right, thanks, Gloria. Hey, Jennifer, do you think we should call the cops about Wayne? I mean, he was Kelly's boyfriend. Friend. I felt it was like, I mean, when he was Kelly's boyfriend, I felt it like be betraying her. But I feel like we need to protect girls from him. Ha! Ha! Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. What are you girls talking about? Uh, n sorry, nothing. That's my house with the Volvo. Hey, Jen, I really have to hang out with you. I hope we can talk more soon. Okay, we're here, Julie. Safe and sound. Thanks, Gloria. Bye, Jennifer. Why are they parking? I just need to stop here for a moment. At my school? Why wouldn't... Who wouldn't want to hang out at a high school party like that? I'll be pretty close by. I'll just walk from here. Thanks for the lift. We'll see what happens. But which choice do we pick? I feel Gloria is going to pull something. Get the hell out of there! Wait. There's something I need to tell you. It's important. Could you just listen for a moment? Please? Yeah, sorry, what is it? Lately, every time someone says they have something important to tell me, it just seems to lead more trouble. Oh well, it must be karma. Go ahead. You know what? No. First, you practically forced me to drive with you while you're drunk, and now you want to corner me in a parking lot. What? Are you going to save my soul? I'm done. Bye. 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 Talk to the fist, because the hand is pissed. I want to hear what she has to say, though. I'm, I'm curious. 
I'm a curious sort. Curious like a monkey. A little monkey. George. I'm the man in yellow. If I were the man. I'm the monkey, though, because I'm curious. We gotta keep that theme. Two. Jules used to be my high school not long ago. We used to come late at night, park right about here, and smoke pot. <laughs> Lady, define not long ago, because you look like you hadn't been in high school since I was born. Everyone in this town does. You used to smoke pot? Miss Ray told me you learned your lessons and never again dabbled in reefer madness. I never touched the stuff. Just say no, right? I'm gonna go with disbelief. <laughs> I know you don't believe me, but it's true. You think being mad at the system started with your generation? America's always been like this. Last time I sat here was with your dad. Yeah, Eddie told me his draft number had been called and I just started crying and felt like I could never stop, you know? Wait, what? Wow, Gloria fucked your dad. How's that feel, Jennifer? <laughs> Yeah, Eddie told me his draft number had been called, and I just started crying and felt like I could never stop, you know? You don't know what it was like. I had known it since we were in diapers, and here was this kid. I mean, he was just a kid, being sent off to kill people in a place we couldn't even find on a map. I still don't... Why were we there, really? Oh, they're talking about Vietnam. Are you okay? But then everyone went, right? I mean, wasn't it, if you've got the dough, you don't need to go? Probably the same reason we keep messing around in the Middle East. Which do we pick? I'm feeling kind of bad for Gloria. Sort of. But not really. I mean, it, it depends on where this goes. <clears throat> That's where you guys pick a choice. Just a second. I'm gonna be nice. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I just... It still hurts. Not all of them came back, you know, and I... I really loved him. You love my dad? Wow, this night just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Are you serious? I don't think you should be telling me this, Gloria. I'm gonna walk home from here. You should go home, too, and sleep it off. Is she really our mom? I don't know what's going on with this plot or this game, but it's, it's, it is a ride. I really did. But he did not love me, not in that way. Oh, Jennifer, there's something wrong with David. I don't know why he's the way he is, but he's just... He just can't get over what he'd call losing. See, his family and mine were really close. They're both rich from the timber in the area, and, well, we just kind of expected that they were going to marry each other. The only one who was against it was my grandmother, Maggie Aradia. Uh, our idea. After my grandfather died, Grandma brought in a living caretaker, and that caretaker was Eddie's mom, Diana. My parents were always traveling, doing the political thing, so I pretty much grew up in Grandma's farm, and with Diana's husband not being in the picture, Eddie grew up there with me. It's like we were brother and sister. Do you know what I mean? And, okay. Yeah, sounds like you and my dad were really close. Nope. The only puzzle has been the word puzzle. This. Strange even everyone in this town is so connected. It's like you're all related. Wait, no, that would be Alabama. So what are you saying? If you married David and not my dad, then what losing does he need to get over? Sounds like you and my dad were really close. You see, I loved your dad first, but it didn't matter. When we were in junior high and your mom moved to town, it was like Eddie had never seen a girl before. He was absolutely wild about her. But he wasn't the only one who took a liking to Mary. David was the most popular kid in school back then, but with his daddy's money and good looks. He had been trying to get me to go out with him all through junior high, but I kept putting him off, hoping your dad would see me as something more than a friend. But all that changed when David met your mom. David decided he wanted to be with her, even though she was dirt poor and never much liked him. He and Eddie got into it over her. Each other, each trying to convince your mom that she would be better off with one or the other of them. But your mom didn't need any convincing. She fell in love with Eddie damn near as fast as he was smitten with her. But Eddie was from the wrong side of the tracks and started to get mixed up with some biker gang when he got back from Nam. 
Your mom wasn't going to have any of that, and eventually she told him it was either her, her or the club. He chose Mary fast as grease lightning and said she, he'd give up drinking and troublemaking forever. To David, your dad was just another white trash criminal, unredeemable and unrepentant. He warned Mary that choosing Eddie was like making a deal with the devil. Hell, I swear he became a pastor just to move to Mary that he was better that he was just to prove to Mary that he was a better guy than Eddie. Nothing could ever convince her though. She and Eddie were heads over heels in love. And me? I was nothing but the leftovers. Nobody pined for me like they did for Mary. By the time we graduated the Iran, the Aradias and the Cooks already had the wedding planned and paid for. David married me and we had Chris. But there's not been a lick of love the whole marriage. It's all a sham. But that's not the worst of it. About four years ago, I saw Eddie just a little before, you know. He used to go visit Grandma at her old farm, checking in on her and making sure she had everything she needed. I was there too, and well... I got my wish to tell him how it felt, how I felt. But things didn't go as expected. David found out. I don't even know how. He wasn't even angry at me. He didn't seem to care about me at all, but he was burned with absolute hatred for Eddie. When Eddie died, oh, how David was there for your mom, and then some. He made helping her more important than even rebuilding his church. I know what he was up to, but what was, what was I supposed to do? Mary was devastated, and you kids, we all felt for you. But then something changed. I don't know what it was, but it was sudden. Maybe he made a move and she didn't know, and she, and she told him no. I'm getting dizzy. <sighs> but since then, David's hatred for Eddie turned more and more into blaming your mom. Saying how she ruined his life and everything is ultimately her fault. Do you understand what I'm saying? Saying, David knows you're not a Satanist anymore than Bob Dole's a communist. Bob took God the references. He just wants to ruin your mother's life and he hates you because you're Eddie's daughter. Something's deeply wrong with that man and I don't know the skeletons in his, in his closet. He's so secretive and angry. I just, I had to tell you, it's all my fault. If I hadn't wanted Eddie so badly, but your father, he was, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. I'm actually getting lightheaded from reading all this because holy shit, I'm just talking, 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 talking. It's so warm in here. Oh my god. Let's take a beat. As I slink down in the chair. This is a visual novel, basically. I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I, I just. <laughs> it is taking such a left turn into boredom, Phil. I don't even know what to do about this. I really don't know what to say. I know David wasn't your fault, it's... Okay, you should probably go, don't cry. What happened wasn't your fault, Gloria. Now, who could it be? Could it be Satan? See, you can still laugh, things will be okay. Does my mom know that my dad cheated on her? Oof, 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 oof. Which do we pick? No, PG, no. Yeah, we're going with it, yes. <laughs> My god, have I turned into the church lady? Please, Lord, may it not be so. I'm sorry, Jennifer, I just had to tell you that I'm so sorry. I hope that you and Mary can forgive me someday. I forgive you, I just don't want my mom to suffer anymore. She's been through so much in this thing that Pastor Cook did. Relax, I'm the town Satanist. Who am I to judge anyone? Just maybe talk to my mom sometime, okay? Maybe make things better for both of you. No, duh, you're sorry. You're a liar and a cheat and a hypocrite. You sat there while Pastor Cook was trying to destroy my family. Why didn't you say anything then? I say, yeah, we're just going to be nice. Thank you, Jennifer. I totally agree. Thank you so much, really. Um, I should really take you home now. Thank you. So we still end up with the police. Seriously? Jennifer, where have you been? I went to that party I told you about. I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you so angry? Well, Mom, are we so poor that we had to start selling donuts out of our trail? Oh. You know, I just went out to get some fresh air. Why, why is there a cop here? I mean, it's true. Um, we went to the party. Tell it was all right. Yeah. Jennifer Kraft, I'm placing you under arrest for arson in the first degree for burning down the Kingdom Hill Church. What? Oh my god, Jennifer! Why did you do this? Chief Armstrong, what am I supposed to do? What do I do? She's going to jail. Arson is a very serious crime. Mary, you'll need to get a lawyer and have him call the courts. 
A lawyer? What do you mean? What do you mean, serious? She's just a kid! Well, chances are she'll be transferred to adult court. She's looking at 20 years, maybe more depending on what charges are added. We've got to go. Mary, step aside. What the f- Come on, Mom. It'll be okay. How will it be okay? How will it ever be okay? Why, Jennifer? Why? There must be a mistake. I don't understand. Isn't arson starting fires? There's no way that's me. I totally flanked out. Don't worry, Mom. I didn't do anything. I- What? Left turn! Left turn! Left turn! <laughs> Just one. See, I don't understand. I don't... Yeah. That's enough chit-chat. I don't want to hear another word out of either of you or you'll be charged with disturb... That's not how cops work. That's not how cops work! Let's go. It's a long drive to the jail. You mean Juvie? She's a minor, fuck. <sighs> what the fuck is this respected indigenous member of the community doing? Trying to flag me down. God damn it. Okay, listen, Jennifer. You stay right there. Don't move a muscle. I've got to get this drunk, respected member of the community. Piece of shit truck out of the road. I'll be right back. Oh, God, this is... I mean, it's the 80s. I'm, so, I'm just not comfortable saying things in a bad way. You know what I mean? Harold, Dirty Lee. Hey, hey, kid. Jenny, can you hear me? There's someone there? Wait, am I kind of... Didn't you hear the cop? I'm supposed to... Is there someone there? Okay, I'm gonna jimmy the door. If I do slide out as quiet as you can, and follow me to my bike. There, got it? Okay, let's go. Wait, who are you? I don't know you. Thanks, giant scary dude. I'm coming. No, I'm not guilty. I'm not going to get my, myself more hot water by trying to escape. Indiana. Oh, my God. I don't know you. you remember me? I'm dirty. Your dad's friend. Remember now? Look, we don't have time for this. You have to come with me. Why does he look the most normal out of everyone so far? Oh, three? Oh. All right. I'm not guilty. Okay, I'll follow you. Fuck it, let's go. No way, I don't trust you. Please just leave me alone. So if we pick that one. Really, Jenny? I know I've been gone for a few, for some years, but your fifth birthday, I got your tricycle. Remember that? I was there with your mom and dad. Remember? I, I remember my tricycle. and name is Scooby. Okay, let's go. Uh, it doesn't matter. For once in my life, I'm going to trust the system. I'm staying right here in the car, and I get lost or I'll scream. So, uh, I don't want to double down. I, what, what do we... What, if, what the... What do we do? Oh my god. I remember my tricycle. My name is Scooby. The door just wants to see the world burn. Oh, we're in prison! To what the fuck?! Dear Jennifer, I'm so excited to finally bring you home after all these years. I thank God for giving us the strength to fight the hardship we had and feeling so blessed. So I say on my memorial for Jesse. This week will be set over your 27th birthday. They put her in jail for 10 years?! Holy fuck, you got us a game over! But I guess I'll choose to continue to try a different approach. <laughs> Hello, Staples. <laughs> uh, arson. Apparently, we burned down the church, even though we were at a party and then being driven around by the pastor's wife all night. Let's go. What? Oh, we actually get to see all of the... It's not just black this time. Nice. Oh, we're in Bend, Oregon. Oh, I know where that is. I think I have family there. Let's fuck you, lawyer. You did it. Nice job, Dirty. Could have done without help for your aunt in her car. Man, that stupid cop didn't have a clue that, was a, that it was a distraction. Yes, Roxy, we do. Uh, but one of those witnesses is a 30-year-old who is dating a 16-year-old. And is also on cocaine. 
It's always been dumb as a rock. How are you feeling, Jenny? Are you alright? How do you know my name? Do I know you? Do I have amnesia or something? How do you all know me, but I don't know you? Who are you guys? What are you planning to do with me? You're here with one. Oh, you literally shot on the judge! <laughs> Jenny, I'm Patch, and you met Dirty. We're friends of your dad. I know it's been a while since you've seen us, and well, that's not because we didn't want to come by. Because your mom told us she didn't want us around no more. But so you know, that's not because of anything we did. She just wanted to leave a certain part of Eddie's, Eddie's history in the past. Maybe it was too painful. She thought we'd been a bad influence on your dad. You see, that wasn't the case. In these last couple weeks, well, we've got a whole lot of new information and knew we need to be looking out for you. I know this is all probably confusing you normally want to check us all, all out and everything, but we don't have a lot of time. I had to go warn some folks about some bad shit going down. First, we need to ask you about something real quick-like. Right there in the courtroom. It's about your dad. A few days before he died, he told me that David Cook was coming after him. Your dad said that he had some dirt on David that he figured would have been enough for protection, but I guess it wasn't. The pastor murdered our dad! Somebody took him out, Jenny. Somebody connected to David. Wait, are you saying that my dad's death wasn't accidental? Pastor Cook had my dad killed? T. Reynolds never asked how could this day get any worse, but could you please- Are you serious? Do you have any- Do you have actual proof? I'm going with the first one. Oh, probably. He seems the type. Oh, uh, sure looks that way to us. Sure looks that way to us. See, his death is not the only thing that Pastor's guilty of. Ah. Am I having a heart attack? My right arm is feeling numb. I may be dying, just so you guys know. Or it could just be because it's hot in here. I'm I'm drinking water, but I don't know if it's enough. And talking a lot is really, really taking it out of me. <sighs> He's been running a drug operation on the side on the side for years, selling so chemicals to crank labels all around Oregon. Now he's got some kind of new grand plan is setting this to turn this whole state into mess central. Oh my god. I can go for a little bit longer. I'll be okay. Maybe it's because of Oh, I know what it is. I'm probably uh, uh, No, I'm um it's weird. It's, I think it's just because of the angle I'm I'm only three and a half years old. Yeah, I know, right? I think it's just because I'm probably a little lightheaded because I haven't eaten since 12.30. And the only thing I've had to eat all day is a bag of Cheetos and a Gatorade. No, don't don't worry. I'm okay. If I was having chest pains and if my arm was actually going fully numb, if things felt weird, I would I would get help. My wife is a nurse. I know exactly what to do in, a, in an emergency situation. And if not, there are people watching that know how to get a hold of my wife. I think. Anyway. Uh, that you know of. Um, I think it's just because of the angle I'm holding the mouse at, and... I got a defib. Uh, no, but she knows CPR. But I really do think it's just because I'm a little lightheaded. I've been talking a lot, but this read, 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 read. And the angle I'm holding my mouse at is a little off. And, uh, because, yeah, I've only had a bag of Cheetos and a Gatorade today. Oh, yeah. Central. Yep. That's why he's pinned down this church, burning his church on you, even though he was the one behind it. And that crooked cop's in on it with him. You see, Jenny, you were set up. Why did Pastor Cook burn down his own church? You're telling me Pastor Cook killed my dad? He killed my dad? Burned down his own church and is secretly a drug lord? He's going to tell me he doesn't want... He doesn't always rewind rental videos. I mean, I hate the guy, but a drug lord? He doesn't seem like it to me. Oh, he seems like it to me. So let's go with option number one, because I want to know why he would... Well, insurance money. He's doing it for the insurance money. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Score one for the Gipper. It's breaking bad. What's my name? Pastor Cook. You're goddamn right. <laughs> He's about to expand his chemical operation in the big leagues. So I figure you need some real cash. Where is that when his old church burned down four years ago? He's running the same scam then. The difference is, he didn't try to pin it on nobody. Look, I know it's hard to believe, but we talked to two fully patched guys and heard David admit it to all himself. Who are David admit all himself? He's not setting you up. We don't we didn't know about that. Why did Tamlin for the past week trying to get something we could take him down with? But he's careful as a fox. We knew he's up to something, but I'll be damned if I knew he's gonna bring you into it. 
That's or cook something. Cook the meth, Jesse. What set you up to was going to be his undoing. Uh, when Dirty called and told me what was going on, I remember something Eddie said to me four years ago. I damn near shit myself when he told me. It was like, why the hell didn't you say this before? It seems so unimportant. Besides, you, you know Eddie was always joking. What is it? What did my dad tell you? Well, that was a hell of a build-up, but what's the punchline? I don't think I understand any of this. Why am I even here? What did my dad tell you? You see, Jenny, Eddie told me that he also told you about the dirty ad on Debbie. David. So, if you tell us what it is, then we can stop him for good. Can't do much with the local police, but if we can show that David's up to no good, we can pull in other cops who will investigate the fire, and you'll clear and you'll clear your name. So, see? You're a godsend. Just please. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. I, um, I can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I really don't think my dad told me anything about Pastor Cook. I don't think he even mentioned him once. You know the feeling when you get the publisher's sweepstakes announcement that you won millions of dollars and you get all excited and then you read the fine print? Well, prepare yourself, guys, because I didn't have any dirt on Pastor Cook. Sorry. Jesus H. Christ, are you fucking kidding me? My dad never told me anything about David. I didn't even know they hated each other until, until years after he died. Which do we pick? I'll let you guys do this one. This music track is bitchin'. Three? Are you kidding? You mean... Ah, oh, fucking hell, I should've known it! Getting me hopes up over nothing. You think he was kidding, Dirty? Just joshing around? Who the fuck knows? But obviously this little girl can't help us. She's already in a bunch of trouble herself. Oh, Jesus. Just from bad to worse. Tell you what we should do. After I warn the hippies, I'll take the fall for burning the church. That's the least I can do for Eddie and Mary. Good idea, but it needs to be me, not you. I've got the history with David, David, the motive, all of it. Even with Armstrong in on their fix, I bet they could, couldn't resist putting me away for it. Besides, it was my life that he saved, not yours. Damn, what well, could have been mine, Patch. Besides, you're a con. They ain't got a felony on me yet. I go on, do my time, it's done. If they get their paws on you, you'll spend the rest of your life at OSP. Best let me take the fall. I'm not agreeing, Dirty. Are you sure you don't remember anything your dad told you about the pastor? Would, it, would have been around the time he passed away. I don't think so. I, I don't know. I'm just tired and feel like crying. I mean, would he have told me in riddles? Maybe bazooka bubblegum jokes? No, he didn't even. He didn't even go to church with us. How do you all know? How do you all my? How did you all know my dad? I want to know. How did you know my dad? We're in the same deployment at Nam. We're all in the same. Deployment. 1970 No Volunteer Fun Brigade. Good name, except it wasn't fun at all. We couldn't wait to get back, especially Eddie, and especially once Mary sent him a picture of you, freshly born. You, your mom, Jesse, that's all life was about to him. Yeah, he sure loved you all. You know, to be honest, I didn't take his humor right take to his humor right away. Thought he was always cracking a joke at the wrong time. Let me up and saved my life. Helped me out of that fire and smoke and just gave me the biggest shitty grin I ever saw. And then he just said, You owe me a pound you owe me a pound cake. Jesus, I love that guy. MRE pound cakes are actually fucking delicious. I mm. I have a special fondness for MREs, okay? I lived off MREs for about two weeks back when I was living on my own. Because my dad had a whole crate of them in the garage, because he was in the army. And I didn't have money for food, so I ate an MRE a day. And it kept me going because they're like 2,500 calories. And they're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I, you know, there's something about eating food that keeps you living that you kind of grow a fondness for. And the pound cakes, man. You wouldn't think they would be moist, that they'd be dry and meh, but you know, I... They weren't bad. They weren't the best I've ever had, but they were pretty good. MRE reviews win. You know, I want to get more MREs so bad. Jesus, I love that guy. Your dad was a good man, Jenny. Your mom's even better. We're gonna make things right for you and your family. Listen, I gotta go warn the Allens. Why don't you sleep some, Jenny, and see if you remember anything in the morning? I have an old lazy boy in there you can make into a bed. I'll fix you a can of Dinty more. Oh. Okay, you know what? As ridiculous as this game is, it's hitting all the right 80s, 80s beats for me. I love Dinty more Beef Stew. Oh my god. I love Dinty more Beef Stew. Catch some Z's. Everything will look a little better in the morning. Alright, I'm gonna ride. Take it easy, Dirty. You too, brother. I'll be back soon. Tina? What is it? What's wrong? Bobby? We had to arrest Harry this morning. 
We had set up a sting at the uh, Allen house when he rode right up and told him what was going on during the bye. There was no choice but to bust him along with the Allens. Oh, come on, Tina. Really? Dirty? What are you doing out there anyway, running a bunch of, ruining a bunch of hippies' lives? I told you, Bobby, there's pressure from above. You've been wasting my time with hearsay about David Cook for two weeks, but I haven't given me anything I can bring him in on. Hell, I don't have enough to question him. Uh, they were there and heard it straight. David and Triple Neck are going to be making more crystal meth in this, in this county than in all of California. One of their sponsor ships, MC. It could be Roxy. It could be. It's the name of the game. I mean, the creator, the devs are Mama Makes Games, so it could be slightly autobiographical, but you know, who knows? Okay, so Bobby, motorcycle game members aren't exactly known for their reliable testimony, especially if you won't even tell me who they are. I explained it already. There's a civil war in the club right now. Triple Neck is trying to keep, get them over to selling crank, and Dirty's trying to keep the tweakers out. And that's not going too well for Harry, is it? Besides, how do you know he isn't in on it? Because I watched the man bury his old lady after she got into that stuff. We're all asking, all we're asking you to do is stop harassing a bunch of patchouli wearers long enough to bust the real criminals. Damn it, Patch. Don't you get it? There's someone upstairs pushing the pot out of this area. If I can't convince my boss that there's anything to arrest here other than small-time hippies, that's what he's going to do. It's not my fault. Not your fault? The Allens have five kids, Tina. Whose fault is it when they get sent to foster homes, split up from each other? Their whole lives a mess. I don't know, Bobby. Their parents, maybe? The pasty-ass government that's still scared of loco weed? Or maybe it's yours. You told me you have something uncooked by now. Well, do you have anything at all? I think so, but I just need a little more time. Well, that's the one thing I can assure you that you haven't got. And while you're sitting here twiddling your thumbs and Harry's in jail, do you know what David Cook's doing? The whole fucking town has come out in a big fundraiser so he can rebuild his church. Like he didn't burn the damn thing down himself. Oh, you think I don't know that? But you know what, Bobby? I can't do a goddamn goddamn thing about it unless I have evidence. Jesus, Tina, what am I supposed to do? Even you can't get a warrant to investigate his company. No shit, Sherlock. Why do you think I'm here? Look, I can keep them from closing things on the Allens and Harry today, but maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow if I'm lucky. But if I don't have real hard proof by then, it's over. Bobby, they're pulling my whole division out this week. Not even Nancy Reagan wants to waste any more money ruining these hicks' lives. <laughs> the war on drugs. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Well, God damn it, Patch! I didn't see a convict for his. I didn't come to. I didn't, didn't come see a convict for his cooking. If I can guarantee a trafficking conviction of David Cook to my boss, I can promise you I will get him to drop the charges against Harry and the hippies. And Jennifer Kraft. Yes, sir. Something tells me that a drug lord is going to be a lot more likely to be convicted of arson fraud. Do we understand each other? All we know there are secret. We all know there are secrets over at the animal supply plant. If you really are telling the truth, Cook, give me proof. I don't care where it's from or how you get it, as long as it's as long as as long as it will stick. Wilco. We'll you know, Tina, you could, you could come by for dinner some night. We'll see. If I don't have evidence, they're sending me back to San Francisco. Understood. Tina, I'm on it. Good luck, Bobby. Jenny, did you hear all that? Yeah, I... Hey, I'm really sorry. I don't think my dad ever told me anything about David. Uh, was that the DEA? Is there someone in this town who doesn't, know, who doesn't know more than I do about what's going on? She met the Allen Farm, right? The Potty Hippies? That's my friend's family. Uh, we're just gonna go... Boom. I like people have fight. What are you trying to say, Zemsey? Don't worry about it. We might... Ah, I can't... Uh, we might not... We just might not need it. Dollars to donuts. The cops will be here looking for... Looking, soon looking for me. You, anyone they think is a threat to David. Listen, I've got to go over to the Cook Animal Supply Plant and see if I can find something that'll show what David's up to. That's where he moves the chemicals. But he's very careful. I gotta sneak in and hope I can find something real juicy and then get it to Tina. If I can do that, Jenny, then everyone will be okay. Zepsy. You've got a choice to make. You can come with me to the animal supply plant and we'll see how this plays out. Or you could, or I could drop you off in town where you can turn yourself in. If you turn yourself in, things should be okay for you. If I, could, if I can get the evidence we need. I'll be able to cut you a deal with Tina and get you out. And if I can't, I'll say I burned down the church and made you take the blame for it. You understand? You don't need to get further wrapped up in this mess if you don't want to. I'm going with you to the plant. I want to help. If you can find if you can't find evidence, the Ryan's then Ryan's whole family goes up goes to jail. And besides, there's no guarantee that anyone will believe that it was you who burned the church and not me. You know, I'm not even really sure what to do. Does it help for me to go with you to the plant? And more importantly, if I'm your lookout, does that mean I get to drive? Three. I don't want to turn myself in. I'm scared, Patch. I think Pastor Cook and that cop want me behind bars, and I don't think your confession will change that. 
So it's all, no matter what we choose, we're going to go with it. So, you know, we're going to, we'll just go with them. Yeah. Boom. All right, Jenny, let's go. Because that's, nothing's going to change. Is there music? Nope. Another has risen to join the flock. Another month down. Dear, maybe they are six heads at Zem's. Zim, uh, Zim, video, thank you so much for that subscription. 43 months, 43 months streak. That is amazing support, man. Thank you so much for that. I really, I really do appreciate that. You rock, man. Thank you so much. How you doing tonight? All right, looks like there's a couple of trucks in the parking lot. Probably rent a cops. Hard to know if there's one at the entry or if it's just a telecom. You see how there's a gap in the bottom of that fence? I think I could slide under it. Okay, Jenny, wish me luck. If I'm not back. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That's Chief Armstrong's cruiser. He's headed right this way. He'll find some excuse to haul me into jail. I'm sure of it. Listen, Jenny. I don't have any other options or I wouldn't ask you to do this. If you get out on that side and wait in those bushes, after he takes me away, you can get in the factory and see if you can find evidence. Here, this is Tina's card and my keys. Find the evidence. Go to town and call her. Good luck, Jenny. All right, here I go. Holy shit, I just knew I was going to have to do this. I just knew it. Good luck, Patch. No, Patch, I can't. I don't know the first thing about breaking into a place. Maybe we are. We've been playing this game for uh, a little over two hours, and the most um, diabolical puzzle we've had is make a burrito in the microwave.